I want to speak to the, you know, the parent that's out there that's like, uh, what do I do? I'm having those challenges. I can't get, you know, my child motivated. I can't get them positive about doing the study work. I know they have to go to school. I know they have assignments. Speaking to that, I love what you said, and you said that it's only homework. It's only homework. Yeah, that you know how many people cannot say those three words, it's just school, it's just homework. We're in a really pressure-filled uh, area here mm -hmm. with pressure-filled children, and they need to be able to say, that's not me, that's homework, that's school. Mm -hmm. I think if you look, I, so I just learned a word very recently, FOMO. The FOMO. Fear, the fear of missing out. Is this something I should be texting? <laughs> right. So the fear of missing out, that if my, you know, if my son doesn't do well this year in fourth grade, well, gosh, that's really going to set him up for kind of possible failure in fifth grade. And then I'm not going to get my son into the proper, you know, junior high school, when I'm, then the high school, and then the college. There's too much pressure being placed on that. And I think the idea of, hey, it's just school, it's just homework, puts the relationship of parent and child back where it needs to be, which is nurturing, which is loving. I, was, I, I heard recently that the definition of great parenting is teaching your children how to be confident. That if you can raise your children to be confident in all the different environments that they're gonna face, you know what, you've done a great job of being a parent. It's not necessarily that they've gotten straight A's in every single subject in every single year of school, but maybe they have the confidence to try again Maybe have the try, confidence to try again after they fail, because as we know, failure to failure, with no loss of enthusiasm, that could be your success. Pete, do you know what I got in seventh grade? You know what grades I got? I haven't any clue either. I don't remember, and I'm sure it seemed important at the time to me and everybody around me, but who really cares? I mean, you know, your grades, um, I, you know, what is important about school? Again, we're talking about putting the intention as part of the attention, which is, well, you know, I learned how to do work, whether I like the work or not. Like, and to this day, you put something in front of me that I gotta get done, I will get it done. Mm -hmm. I mean, or die trying, <laughs> no. or I might decide not to do it, but it's very in my control. So um, I don't just see the patients I like, right? Wouldn't that be great? You go to work and you're like, I'm just going to do the stuff I like. Okay. But that doesn't work that way. So, you know, the grades don't matter. It's the process of doing the work and learning how to do stuff, mm -hmm. whether or not the stuff is what you want to do or not.